Now, despite Encabulation's unparalleled success in reducing sinusoidal deplenoration through advanced ding alarm technology, it has failed to meet the unanticipated needs of the cybersecurity industry to create zero trust operations in level zero monitoring environments to ameliorate zero day process attacks. That is why, despite zero interest from industry, the SANS ICS security team has taken it upon themselves to develop an entirely new level of encabulation, unresponsive to the needs of the average consumer and undoubtedly without merit in terms of concomitant asynchronous communication with client-side connectivity. Ladies and gentlemen, ISACs of all sectors, beer included, and children of all ages, may I present the Hyper Encabulator. Hyperencabulator is nothing less than a key ruminant in the advancement of retrograde phenomenology by which we can achieve results that are plastic, spastic, and sinosynclastic without sacrificing both normative reality and AI-informed modalities. You'll note that the Hyperencabulator utilizes indiscrete modules, making possible virtualized environments that include PLC-controlled stand-up reheaters, as well as retinium-based cloud benders. It also includes a dedicated OT Security Operations Center access panel, known as the SOC drawer. The primary modules of the hyperencabulator are stackable, DIN rackable, and unhackable. And please note the complete absence of side fumbling, owing to the maintenance of tolerances allowing a tight conniption fit. Please take little note of this module. The open source digital ghost daemon, which allows transparent OT invisibility owing entirely to the manipulation of airborne particulate matter and single surface reflective devices. Or for criminal infrastructure sectors where the dependability of suprametive Wendelsprox is essential, our handsome ransomware hypervisor is perpetually alert to SQL injections of Gates tracking chips and quantum IoT identification dots. Moreover, whenever a pen test is elected to assure the integrity of a safety instrumented system, our Purdue model modal module defeathers and plucks clean every proverbial fox in the hen house and keeps would-be intruders wondering which metaphor got mixed first. As you can see, the hyperencabulator has reached a high level of development. Whereas previous dissimilar devices operated under the concept of manumatic stressor reduction and macroeconomic supply chain S-bombs, the hyperencabulator operates totally under the principle of colonic effluvium expulsion and audible gaseous eructations. Thomas Edison once said that invention was 10% inspiration and 90% perspiration. If that's the case, Thomas Edison should have invented deodorant but I regress. In the near future, hyperencabulation will ultimately replace all traditional cybersecurity safeguarding processes with osculating segmentation and entropic astrogation, making what was once thought to be impossible, probable. At SANS ICS Security, when we're not innovating, we're encabulating.